7 Ways to Use Chat GPT at Work to Boost Your Productivity, Make Your Job Easier, and Save a Ton of Time. OpenAI's Chat GPT and similar AI tools may not replace jobs anytime soon. But they can help workers across many industries, from tech to media, do their jobs better and more quickly. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. To my subscribers and all those who are new to the channel welcome. I would love to hear where you're watching this video from. Leave a comment below. Before we dive into it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you haven't. If you're ready let's go. The buzzy conversational chatbot, which attracted 1 million users soon after its launch last November, has been used to generate real estate advice, provide tips on how to start a business, and even write music in the style of individual artists, all with varying levels of success. It's absolutely true that AI applications like ChatGPT can very much improve workers' lives. Workers should be careful when using AI tools, as the tech can be prone to misinformation, and it can remove the human touch from tasks like writing. Most companies also haven't established formal rules around employee use of the AI tool, though firms like Microsoft, a major partner and investor of ChatGPT's parent OpenAI, have recently given employees the green light to use the chatbot for work purposes, as long as they don't share sensitive information with the site. Here's how you can use ChatGPT and AI to help make your work life easier. 1. Use it as a Google alternative for research. ChatGPT can be used as an alternative to Google. How many times a day do you Google something at work? With ChatGPT, that may become less common. In fact, the search engine giant is reportedly worried that you'll eventually put your queries into ChatGPT instead. The company issued a code red over the bot's potential threat to its search business. Google may be only a year or two away from total disruption and AI will be able to instantly do what would take many minutes for a human to do using a search engine like Google. While ChatGPT isn't always accurate, its knowledge only goes to 2021, it can analyze data from millions of websites to try and answer whatever question it receives. Plus, it gets smarter the more it's used. Rather than providing users a series of links to sift through, many of which are high up on the page simply due to advertising spend, ChatGPT provides the user with a quick answer. And if the answer is too complicated, ChatGPT can explain it in simpler terms if you ask it to. Having quick access to information could ultimately make your job more enjoyable by freeing up time for idea generation. Some of the more boring parts of the job may disappear. We may begin focusing more on generating the right ideas, asking the right questions, things that are more interesting. 2. Use it to write essays, speeches, cover letters, songs, and employee evaluations. ChatGPT can help users improve their writing. As many students with essay assignments have already realized, ChatGPT can be quite useful as a writing tool. Creatives looking for inspiration for their books or songs have also asked ChatGPT to produce some rough drafts for them. 3. Use it to analyze vast amounts of data. ChatGPT can be used to help analyze data with speed. Many roles involve various forms of data analysis, and ChatGPT can process a lot of information quickly. Analyzing and interpreting vast amounts of language-based data and information is a skill that you'd expect generative AI technologies to ramp up on. If you're an academic, it's quite nice that you don't have to do statistical analysis by hand. You can produce a lot of more stuff. It could also help those trying to use data to make investment decisions. AI can identify trends in the market, highlight what investments in a portfolio are doing better and worse, communicate all that, and then use various other forms of data by, say, a financial company to forecast a better investment mix. 4. Use it for scheduling tasks, planning, and time management. ChatGPT can help manage your work schedule. Getting your busy work schedule organized may be time-consuming, but ChatGPT and other forms of AI can help make the process go a little bit smoother. 5. When looking for a second opinion, ask ChatGPT how to start a business, make strategic decisions, and support customers. ChatGPT can offer informed advice on how to start a business and make strategic decisions. Getty Images, if you're a current or aspiring entrepreneur, ChatGPT may be able to help you think through the process of starting a business. It might be a useful tool for generating ideas, estimating startup costs, and outlining a business plan. Even Amazon employees who tested ChatGPT said it does a very good job of answering customer support questions and is very strong at answering queries around corporate strategy. 6. Turn it into a coding assistant. ChatGPT can help programmers identify bugs and write code. It actually can write code quite well. Specifically, ChatGPT is capable of quickly generating lines of code to resolve certain coding problems, but coders should proceed with caution when receiving help from an AI, as some users have found that ChatGPT incorrectly answers coding problems. 7. When work isn't going great, 
Use it to apply for a new job or to negotiate a raise. ChatGPT can provide emotional comfort and help get you paid more. Finally, if you're not happy at your job, ChatGPT may be able to offer some support. People are using it to craft their resumes and cover letters as they undergo their job searches. It will make you a cover letter so you don't have to waste your time anymore. If you're fairly happy at work but feel like you're underpaid, ChatGPT might even be able to help you get a raise. Ask ChatGPT for advice to help you prepare for a theoretical salary negotiation. Follow the AI script and you would probably be able to get a raise. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to provide you with content like this. See you next time.